Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna just give you some advices guys about this uh, latest update on the Windows 10 mobile. The, this build for today is, is the build Redstone uh, or the anniversary update. It's not yet the anniversary update but it will be because this build 14393.67 is, is at the moment but the official build it still will be this one but it will be like point 80 or point 100 something it will be like just point something which they will do just corrections but this is the anniversary update this is the build the redstone build and just want to let you know if this build at the current state the point 67 is worth to use it for daily use because you asked me so many times in the comments which build should i install the redstone build this one at the moment or the build the previous one, the official one, the 10,586, which 10,586 is still more stable than this one, but of course it doesn't, doesn't have some features there, uh, but this one has more features, but it's not so stable as the official one, because this one still some apps like crash, uh, or doesn't crash, but uh, they start to get slow and then you the fix you have to restart your phone to fix that, but the biggest problem for me is uh, and I take my words back because on my previous video of this build I, tell, I told you guys that um, the Wi-Fi bug got fixed which I thought it was fixed because it was like 4 or 5 hours without any, any crash of the Wi-Fi but it's still not fixed, I still got the, this problem even today I got the problem but I got this problem more, more often when I watch for example YouTube videos or a streaming on Twitch or st stuff like that uh, and the Wi-Fi just crashed and it's not like only the, f the Wi-Fi from the phone it's like crashes my entire Wi-Fi but I, t I tested it by by shooting down the Wi-Fi on my uh, Lumen 640 XL and just using the LG G3 and I used the LG G3 so for so many hours straight without any crash when I connect the, my Lumia L 640 XL it start to crash and my girlfriend has also a Lumix 640 XL but she's using the official uh, builds which is the 10586 she doesn't have this problem I mean when I I'm not on a Wi-Fi and she is on Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi doesn't disconnect when I connect to Wi-Fi it starts to boosting around and this is so weird bug because I don't even know if Microsoft know what's the bug for it or if they know there is this bug because it's like it connects to Wi-Fi, you can use it for a few hours and then it disconnects, you connect it again, a few seconds starts to disconnect again, you connect again, it can work for again for a few minutes, starts to disconnect again and it's, it makes like this bullshit for, for around 5-10 minutes and then starts to work for a few hours or correctly and then starts to make this bullshit again. So I don't really know what's the bug for it, I, I hope Microsoft knows. At least I hope they know this bug it's there because I mean fixing a bug it's a, another problem but knowing that there is a bug it's another problem. So at least I hope they know there, that there is this problem. So because only because of this problem the Wi-Fi problem I do not kind of recommend to use for a daily use device because this problem is quite annoying. Uh, let me know in the comments if you also have this problem or if it's only me but or if, if you have this problem and you found correction for it maybe there is an app that crashes the one entire Wi-Fi or maybe there is some settings or whatever I don't really know I try to test different things but it still happens and sometimes when I test different things it's like works starts to work for a few hours and I'm like oh this, this app was the problem this got fixed and then when it starts to boost thing around it's, oh, it's not that up anymore and I don't really know what's the problem but I hope Microsoft knows but this is the only like major because it's a major bug to your Wi-Fi starting to disconnect all the time and because of that I do not recommend to use it for a daily use driver if you have only one device or if you use your Windows 10 as your main phone I use it as my main phone but sometimes I go crazy with this bug and I go and use my LG G3 but still I still want to use this uh, as my daily driver but this bug is way too annoying but yeah let me know in the comments guys if you have also this bug and I see you on the next one I just wanna...